So please um, confirm if you can see my screen. Is my screen up? Yes, yeah, it is. Answer, All right, thank you so much. Good evening once again, and uh, welcome to our day six of the training. So these last two days that we have remaining, we'll be looking at visualizing our data on dashboards and trying to create um, dynamic and interactive dashboards. For today, uh, we have um, a data set that we'll be using, and we have shared this uh, to all the participants, except those who are joining us for the first time. Uh, like uh, Onyeka, I know Onyeka, this is the first time you are joining us. James Bull, I think this is also the first time you are joining us. Uh, David, David Agu, uh, please confirm if this is the first time you are joining us so that uh, we can also share the files with you. Okay, James Bull said yes, this is his first time. And uh, so let's see how we can get this across to you. Uh, if you have my WhatsApp number, you can share your email with me if you don't have it. Before others who registered, check your email, then you will see the file that we'll be using. So for the others, before we start the practice, I'm sure you will receive it if you share your email with me. So um, what we want to do is looking at this data that we have, this data is coming from a, an organization that uh, provides HIV AIDS services. And then um, these are the facilities, these are the districts where they live, and these are the products, and these are the product categories. Now, if you look on this other side, these are the data that we are interested in. The beginning balance of each product, the quantity received, the consumed, the physical stock. So we've been asked to visualize this. And then um, we see that um, for these categories, we have different categories of the products. We have different sites we have different districts. So it's left for us to come up with how we can, how we can visualize this to make meaning out of it. So data analysis is all about making sense out of data, just looking at your data and bring out some insights. So we are going to do a lot of uh, data computation, data preparation, cleaning, and then finally we analyze and visualize. Now, our desire, for those of us who have that, who have this uh, file, if you click on this uh, dashboard, top 10 products underscore beginning balance, you will see, let me see if I can make this thing a bit, um, okay, let me share this, sorry. I want to make this um, full screen. Okay, I hope uh, it's better now. You can see the this in better, right? Please confirm. Is the dashboard better? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do is um, we will work on the data that I showed you on the first sheet to come up with this, this is the simplest of uh, data visualization that we are placing on the, on the board. We are going to do exactly, we are going to produce this uh, exact, we'll just replicate this or even better. Like I said, this is just uh, the simplest of all uh, of the dashboard that we can create out of this data. Now, if I were to make presentation, to audience, this is for the entire thing. I want you to look at the title of each um, 
of each uh, visualization, look at the things that are all there, okay? I'm going to be changing, using these slides as here, you will also see that they are changing alongside. So for instance, I might say, I'm going to start making a presentation that these are all the products. If you look on this first, on my left here, the first chart here, this is talking about um, the top 10 in quantity received. So we are going to be looking at uh, quantity received. What are the facilities in order of uh, hierarchy? The first 10 facilities, this is what it shows for all the districts and continue all the sites. Now, if I come over here and say, okay, I want to be looking at district by district. So I click district, it's showing me now for those ones within this East district. You can see this has changed. Also, this has changed. This all means this is for all the facilities that are within the East. Now, when you look at this site name here, there are two sites. You can see they are active here. These two sites are the only sites that are within the East uh, district that have this data. And the product that are within these two facilities are the consumables, first line ARVs, lab reagents, and opportunistic infection drugs. If I want to drill down to the sites, I can come over here and click Sunrise. Now Sunrise will show me their detail. I click this. This is a West View. Now you also see that it has been linked such that whatever you click here is showing on the title of the slide. Here it's talking about the top 10 all in all in the West View of East District. The all here is talking about all this, uh, all this one here, the product category. So if I want to look at this one, this is a sunrise. Let's look at first line ARVs. So I've clicked ARV, the first line ARVs. So what I'm viewing right now is sunrise head center. What are the top 10 in quantity received for first line ARVs, which is in the East District? Then the same thing over here. But then uh, this one, okay, uh, there's something, there's something that is missing here on this side. I'm sure by the time we begin to construct, we'll, we'll include that. What is missing here is this one was done to talk about um, quantity received. Quantity received, okay? So that's why you can see uh, the difference. So this is what we hope to achieve by the time we work on that data, okay? So when you also go across the different facilities or different uh, regions, for not, there is no item for first line among these uh, facilities in the north. Okay, let's see. Um, there is, okay, so these are the facilities in the north that have first line, but for, okay, they have, we have some with lab reagent and OI drugs. However, we don't have for consumable, we don't have for second line. So by visual um, presentation, this raw data, you, are, you won't be able to make any sense out of this. But by the time you do your analysis and present this, and then you keep making your presentation, then it becomes um, reasonable for someone to make decision out of this. So this is what we will want to achieve with the data that we have. So at this point, I would like to pause and uh, find out if there are questions while we take the opportunity to share um, the file with those who don't have the file. Okay, I've received from James. James, thank you for sharing your for sharing your email. I'm going to I'm going to do that now.
So I'm going to pause the record. So uh, the first thing we should do is to look at our data and see the outlay, how it is laid out. Do we need any form of uh, data preparation? Do we need any form of uh, data cleaning? The first thing that comes to mind is uh, we see this whole area. They are empty. So for this particular segment, um, you need to decide whether you need to include them or not. And if you don't need them, you think of how to remove them. See, as you go, you begin to meet data, you begin to meet data because it will make the entire product very, very large in number. So the first thing you need to do is to create something that can help you to decide which one to include and which one to not to include. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have decided that any, any of these items that do not have value here or here or here or here, even if they have values like zero, but if it does not equal more than zero, we want to exclude it. So what we have simply done is, if this plus this plus this plus this is equal to zero, exclude it. So for the purpose of this particular tutorial, this is what we have done. In your own scenario, it may be different. You may have a different set of criteria to use to include the ones you want to analyze or otherwise. So the, pop, the essence of this particular um, moment is to tell you that it is not as you see your data wholly that you can just use and begin to run your analysis. You need to look at it and see what and what you need to remove. So I have done this exclusion. And the simple thing I did was I told Excel, if you um, evaluate like this, and if it is equal to zero, just give me exclude. But if it is not equal to zero, which most likely it will be above zero, then include it. So what I, I have done is I've run this down and it has given me what I want. Some include, some exclude, some include, some exclude. Like I can see this one is include. This one here is include because they have values greater than zero. So I am going to filter out those ones now. Let me apply my filter. I'm going to apply the filter. Sorry, what's happening? So I'm, I'm interested in, in those ones that have include because those are the ones that I am going to include. So after doing this, I'll copy the entire thing. I'll copy all. So I've selected all. I have copied it. I'm creating a new worksheet. I paste it. And so now this, this bears my, my a relevant data, the ones that I'm interested in working with. So the first thing I did was to itemize those products that I'm interested in and then using them. So here, so that it can, I can easily go to it, I'm going to put this one important or let me put focus. So this is my data, my products of focus. Now, there are a few things again that you may look at look at your data very well and uh, see if there are things that are not very fine. Um, there were some that came in the form of text. Okay, I think um, I can't see them here, but it's something that we need to look at and find out which ones are 
in text format and which one are in number format because it's good to have all the data sets in their uh, data type rightly allocated. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to insert our pivot table. So I'm coming over here, pivot table. This is what we have been doing. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to place it on a new worksheet by default it is. So here, I'm going to write focus underscore pivot table. So these are the few pivot tables that are going to be derived from the focus data set. So that's why I have put this. So for this one, I'm going to hide this one. I'm going to hide this one. I want to have space. And for these other ones, I'm going to, okay, I think it's only one that I did. So I'm going to hide only this one. These ones are empty dashboard that we are going to work on right now. So let's begin to run our analysis. The first thing I'll do is I want to bring my products. Let me bring my products to, no, this product category, I don't want that now. Let me bring my product here. So I have all these ones as unique products. Again, uh, there was something I noticed also, which uh, you, for running a data analysis, you need to be very, very um, detailed. There may be some products that are entered as duplicates. So you try to remove those duplicates. Just needed to mention that. So having entered this, our interest, remember this is our focus. We are interested in um, beginning balance, quantity received, quantity consumed, and physical stock, this four. So let's go back to my pivot table. I have my beginning balance. I'll put it here in uh, value, quantity received. Now, when you click this quantity received, because the fields are in, um, they have numbers. So it should give me some. But I've, I discovered that I clicked it, and instead of it to run and be placed under the values, it found its way to the rows. So you see it here. This is not where it's supposed to be. The reason why it is done this way, remember when we, be, when we talked about pivot table, we said when you check any of this field here, just by checking it, not clicking and dragging, when you check, if what you check contains numbers, it would automatically come under values. And if it is text, it will automatically come under rows. But then depending on what you want to do, you can drag them and place them in different places. The fact that this one came here, quantity received came under row, is behaving as if the entries under that column are text, which is true. So but we need to move it and place it right under the values. And then when we do that, we will see that it's giving us count. But it's not count that we are interested in. We are interested in the sum. So all we need to do is to click here, go to our value field settings, then change this thing to sum. OK it. And then you see that here has become the sum rather than the count again. Then the next thing that we are interested in after the quantity received is the consumed, quantity consumed. Of course, it has gone to that side. So you know it is recognizing those uh, entries as numbers. The same thing for physical is gone there. So we have seen that all our data that we are interested in have been organized this way. All right, so this is easy for us now to put into our with these things appearing sum of beginning balance, sum of quantity. I want it to remain the same way it is so that when I plot it, it will be showing me as, a, as the um, a legend, quantity received, quantity consumed, and so on and so forth. Now, if I come here, this is just to retreat what we discussed during our initial uh, 
uh, sessions. If I come here and change this to remain to come back to this, it's telling me this is not acceptable. Why? Because this field already exists. So I'm going to okay it, and I'm going to put a space at the back of it. It's a kind of way to trick Excel that this is a different entry, so you should see it so. So by the time I enter, it's accepting it. So I do the same thing over here. If I go ahead and do this, the same thing, it's going to reject it. So I'll put a, a space at the end, and I'll do the same thing here. Physical stock on hand. So I have this now. This is looking better. What of this one? Beginning balance. Okay. It's again, it's telling me no, because mm -hmm. I didn't put a space at the back. So I've put, uh, I've included a space at the back and he has accepted it. Now, if we are going to place this on a, we are going to place this on a chart, it's going to be very, very clumsy. The reason is there is a, a, about 74 items or there are about 72 or so. So now let's see what we can do. But first of all, let's go ahead and insert uh, maybe this particular chart. You see, it may not really make meaning to anybody when we do this. So, but what we can do is let's narrow down to maybe the first five products or the first top ten. Top, I mean, a top 10 products, they will decide top 10 in what? Is it top 10 in the opening balance or the top 10 in the quantity received or the top 10 in the quantity consumed? Now, depending on what we are looking at, assuming that we want to showcase that we want to see uh, the top consuming, top 10 consuming, uh, the most utilized product. So our focus is most utilized product. So let's look at the 10 most utilized products. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to right click. I'm going to filter. Coming down here, this is my top 10. I'm going to click this top 10. Now, what top 10? We say we are looking at quantity consumed. The top, the 10 most consumed product. So I come over here and click consume. So it's going to isolate and bring only 10, then one first to 10. So you see that this is the area that we are focusing on. Now I'm going to, because this is the quantity consumed, I'm going to right click here and sort it. So let me sort it from large to small. It gives me this now. So you will see that this is 186,800 units of male condom that is consumed, and this is decreasing. Okay, so what this is showing me now is the first 10 products that are mostly utilized. You can see them here, male condom is showing here. So now let's go ahead and clean this. Uh, we're going to clean this, um, what's it called, chart. I like to remove those, I like to hide those things. Then I come over here, bring my legend down to the bottom. And um, I'm going to include my chart because link chat so the title chat title is over there so let's come over to this point this is my axis this number is too large let me apply let me insert a unit so i right click come to format axis then the unit that i want to use is thousand so let me use thousands so what I am seeing here now is 600,000, 500,000, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to cut this, then take it to my dashboard. This is where I want to put this dashboard. Uh, 
this is what I'm using as my dashboard. So I've come to drop it here. So this is the first step that I need to take in visualizing or creating my, my dashboard. I may also decide to um, change this type. Let's use bars. Let's use bars like this, if this is better. So whichever one that you feel is better, you can use it. Can use the other way, can use this way. So a bit, I usually advise whenever your entries are long in number, the, in, in, inside the length of the name is long, just put use the bars, okay? So I can go up, go back to my pivot table and then change this thing to to largest so that my this thing will change this way. Okay, so this is the first thing that we have done. We are not done with this yet. The next thing that we will be interested in doing is uh, linking this to a chart name, this chart title to a name. Now let's go back to our pivot table. Remember that when we are displaying this data, we are going to be slicing on the district, the head facility, and the category of the product. Because right now, this is a mix. We have ARVs, we have uh, lab reagents, we have consumable, even our ART is divided into first line and second line. So I am going to make use of this, my filter area. Let me bring in my, I'm going to bring site name to the filter, district to the filter, product category to the filter. Now, the reason why I'm bringing them here is because I want the names to be displayed. How many this thing do we have here on the filter? Uh, site name, district. Okay, just site name and district. I need the product category. So let me bring this product category here. So I have the three of them now. And hello, for each hello, of hello. sorry for interruption. I think you took the product category to the row column instead of uh, the filter column. Can you check? Well, he has corrected uh, it. He has corrected it already. No, I think okay, he okay. duplicated that, not corrected it. Uh, if if you bring it here, if I made a mistake and put it in the row, and I let her put it under this thing, it will remove it from the row and keep it here. So it's not there again. It will show here if it is here. Thank you for that. So here, I'm going to open each of these and select this multiple item select to be selected. I okay it. I do the same thing here. The, uh, select this one. I do the same thing here. Select this one. Now, when I apply a slicer, is going to bring out the name of what I sliced. For instance, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put a slicer. Sorry, I'm going to put a slicer to. We are interested in the site name, the district, and the product category. I okay this. So I just want to explain this. We are taking this to the dashboard where we can be filtering and making our presentation. So if I click East, East is going to, where is a district? You see district here, this thing is showing that the data that is being shown here is for East. If I change this thing to North, the North changes. The South, it changes. The West, it changes. But if you are not slicing on anyone, you are not filtering anyone, and you check this, it is all. The same thing happens over here. So we are going to take this one after the other. If I click this one, uh, this is Blue Ridge 
regional. This is the name of the facility. So you see this is site. It's showing that the data that you are seeing here is for this facility. When I click here, the data is changing. The name here is changing. So I'm going to close this. And the same thing happens in this product category. I want to look at consumables. So all these things that are shown here are consumable. First line ARVs are all these lab reagents, OI drugs, second line ARVs. Okay. So we need to carry this, this, this. I'm cutting them. I'm taking them to my dashboard. I'm going to place them here so that I will, uh, I'm going to arrange them in a way that is very, very, okay, let me just put it below the way we do the other one. So I have um, uh, this facility name at the highest. Now, one thing with slicers again, I can format slicer. This is part of customizing your, customizing your um, pivot table. Sorry, I'm trying to. This is part of um, or, or, um, customizing your pivot table. I'm coming to the slicer. Remember that this is the one that is uh, highlighted, this site name. This has one column. You can see this is just one column. But because of what I want to do on this dashboard, I want to create space. I want to make it look very, very nice. Let me say if I increase the distance to two, he has created two columns and arranged all of them in two columns. Let's go for more, more columns. Let's say for up to four columns. So I have this, I can drag it like this and try to resize it. If this is still not okay, I can go ahead and increase it to five. Let's see six, okay? So if we have six like this, this may be fine. So I can reduce this again and bring it down here. This is part of the things that we do to make our dashboard look nice. So here, I'm going to get this. Let's say, let me get it two. So you see again for this one, it's in column, it's one column, but I'm going to increase this to. We've stopped hearing you, sir. Or is it? Hello, guys. Am I back? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Okay. So sorry. My network threw me out. James, can you hear me now? Hello? Yes, I can, okay. hear you. can anybody hear me? Okay, yeah. somebody say you can hear me. So, but is my screen back on? Is it back on now? Yes, it is. It is back. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so um, let me see. 
we had the dice top. Did you get where did you where did you use where did you lose me, please? You were making the columns into two for for the dist for the district. Yes, for the district. Okay, for the district. Okay. Sorry about that. You know, sometimes this network they don't have respect. So uh, I made the district into two columns and then the product into two columns just to make these things uh, look fine here. Okay, so um, let's see. I want to reduce this. All right. Now, the background for this particular dashboard, you can change it by clicking the entire highlighting all the sheet and then coming over here to choose whatever color you want. That's how that came about. So depending on your preference, you may decide to use anyone. All right, so let's just go with this or anyone that is fine. So we have done this. Now, let's go back to our pivot table. I'm going to do a concatenation so that uh, I will link it to the chart title. So I am going to say, let's say, uh, let's go back to here and just pick East consumable and uh, site. So I've selected one, 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 one. So when I go back here, you will see this is this. So I am going to, what I want to look at, the way I want this thing to appear is, I'm going to say top 10, is it the top 10? Please, English people, top 10 most consumed, or is it the most consumed? Most consumed, consumed. Um, consumed, consumables, consumables, or whether it's consumable or ARVs or something like that. So it's going to be in site name of dash district. This is how I want, sorry, this is how I want the message to read, the title to read. And I don't know how I'm going to put this. Anyway, you will know. So let's just put top 10 most consumed consumables or whatever. So if this is what I want, I'm going to break it into two, into several parts rather. So I'm going to put top 10 most there. This consumed, I'm going to put here, just say equals to whatever that is here. So that if you change, if you change from your slicer, this thing will change and then the name will change. Here is also, this is equals to this to give us the site. Then here is equals to this to give us the district. So as we are changing, it is also changing. Then um, top 10 most consumed so because this particular one is looking at a consume top 10 most consumed. Okay, let, let's not put consume, let's say utilized. Most utilized dash. Top 10 most utilized consumable In then I'll make reference to C. Of dash district. Okay, so 
I'm going to put here and say, I'm going to concatenate. I'm going to concatenate this one. Then I'm going to put a space. Most top 10 most utilized this one, put a space. In put a space. This place this is the name of the facility. Put space of put space east put space. And I'm going to now put this one. So I am done. So I'm going to highlight this because this is where I want to link my chat title to. So coming over here, this is my title. I'm going to say it's equals to then I'll reference it to go to this focus pivot table, pick whatever that is here. I'll okay it. So here, this is the top 10 most utilized consumables in Westview Medical Center of East District. So at this point, we are going to change. I'm going to choose this. Um, I'm going to choose this uh, first line. It has changed to first line, top 10 most utilized first line ARVs in Westview Medical Center, Medical Center of East District. What if we change the district? It also changes, but there's nothing here. There is no first line in this hospital. So let's look at this hospital. It has also changed to Blue Ridge Regional Hospital of North District. Crystal Water. Okay, saying that it's going to overlap. So there is a data. If we look at this point, okay, it's going to overlap. You can see this here. So um, this brings to mind some of the rules that we gave when we were talking about uh, when you are creating um, when you are creating pivot table, always allow spaces outside or surrounding your your pivot table. All right, so um, this is how this happens. And um, sorry, I'm just getting a distracted. Um, okay, so I am going to remove this one away. Um, maybe let me just create another space up so that it will not, this is number one. Let me put this thing up here. Then delete this one. Uh, is there any other space, any other thing here that can likely interact if this thing expands? It may expand like this. So let's go back there and uh, crystal view. All right, so um, it's showing very well. Top 10, if we look at that, this thing is still maintaining the top 10 uh, consumed. All right, so um, this is the first chart that we have created. We are going to pause and allow us to ask questions. We clarify the questions, and then we'll go to hands-on to practice what we have done so far. So I'm going to pause for any question if there are. Okay, Victor, your hand is up. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, actually, in the beginning, um, I got lost. Uh, the network was not too uh, good from my side here. So, um, you know, in the data source, the original data source, in the original distance, um, I didn't know how those uh, values you have in quantity received, quantity consumed, a physical store come about. 
uh, because from that um, original data you gave us, I didn't see any values there. Yes, those are okay. uh, one because from the data you I received, yes. Uh, and uh, okay, 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 that's that's the first question. Uh, then um, what is the business idea of um, those decisions you, you made? Include, exclude, include, exclude. What's the business knowledge about that? That's uh, why did you do it? Uh, from your source okay. data, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, what we did here was let me remove this uh, filter. What we did here was, this is how the data is, the one shared with you. And I said that by merely looking at this uh, data, you will see the data needs to be cleaned. We need to prepare it. So it's in preparing it and making, and just bringing out the relevant ones that we will need, that we need to create some criteria that will help us decide which items to include, which items to exclude. So your questions are related. And so now I'm answering one, I'm answering the two of them. Now these were zeros and it didn't make any sense for us because there is nothing here. Most data, most of these products didn't have anything. Even after getting to some point, you see some that do not have anything like this one. Now, from me who received this report, my 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 um my decision is the people who submitted their report without anything here, they don't have that product. And I've also looked at our our database and I realized that we don't have this product. So anyone that does not have values in each of these. So that if we add all of them, if it is equal to zero, we don't have it in our system. So that's the business decision that I have made that in our database, at the end of this reporting period, we must have values here. If we don't have values here, even if it is in one column, we must have value. If we don't have column in all the columns, we don't need it. So that's the decision that I made. And then, so to help me now exclude and only retain the relevant one, I came here to write this formula to tell Excel, you should look across these uh, columns. If you add the values and it is equal to zero, just say exclude, because that's my business uh, mentality. That is what we are looking for. However, if it is above zero, then give me include. That will help me know the items to include and exclude. So when I run this, um, um, I narrowed down, I mean, uh, I duplicated the formula down to the end. It gave me exclude and include, exclude and include based on the criteria that I've set. Then I said, okay, now that is done, I need to now isolate those ones that I want to make use of. So I came here and because I have applied filter, I'm only this, I would deselect, exclude, and select include. You see that this include now bring out those, those um, um, products that have at least a value somewhere. And you can see there is no one that is zero here. Okay, there is somewhere that there's one that is zero here. Let me look at that because we do we need not to see uh Okay, okay, no, 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 sorry. It's the total. So it's, it's, it's included. All of them, we need to bring all of them together. So as long as this plus this plus this plus this does not equal to zero, we have them here. Now, having identified the products that I will include in my data analysis, I selected all of them and then copied them and brought them to this sheet. I pasted them here. And I named this sheet focus. So these are the focus, the products of focus in my analysis. So that is how we have numbers here. Does that answer your question? Yes, um, that's good. 
Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. And again, like, um, is it, is it possible, you know, when you look at those, um, uh, because you are looking at a way to, uh, for this data to speak uh, to people, to make meaning out yeah. of this data based on your intro introductory uh, statement. If you look at those your data, the raw data, can you be able to look at um, where's the, name? That's the names uh, of those products? Products name, am from I here? right? Yes. Yes. Products name. Can, yes, products name. I know there's a column you have products name. Yeah, this is the product name now. And that is the yes, product uh -huh. category here. Yes. Where's the product category? This is the product okay. category. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. No, the question has been answered. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay. So um I'm going to pause our recording so that um, we can delve into the actual practice. So we can use 20 minutes. So by yeah, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Yes, please. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Like uh, going forward, just uh, on observation, you know, yes. um, is it possible to have um, uh, state like a question, uh, what you want to do with this data? Yeah. Um, before we continue, because it's easier for us to follow. Because I discovered that when you are working with the data, you are asking, you are bringing a question which you are trying to bring, make meaning to. You are bringing a question which you are making meaning to. But is this possible in the beginning of this data? Then you try to say, okay, this is what we want to do with the data. Maybe a, a, a bullet point. Say, okay, this is what we want to do with this data. This information we want to extract as so, so stage, as to so stage. So that it's easier for us to. Follow because when you are when you are actually doing um analysis and visualization on this data, it's like you are you have the questions in mind and you are bringing it out and doing it. So most of us find it difficult to um follow. But assuming you have the question in mind already and see that this is what you what the what you want to bring out from the data, it could be easier for us to follow. Okay, that's worth taking. I, I think it yeah. makes sense. Yes. Makes sense. What um what I did in the beginning was to just tell us that our focus is to bring out, to visualize this, these four elements. But right now, let's also uh, uh, design questions. So one of the questions, uh, question, let me just say these are questions. So the first question, number one, is... Uh, what are the top 10 most utilized products in the data set? So we are looking at uh, an, an applied question. That's a, a work I did. I just concluded that work on, um, on Saturday. Uh, it was a practical ap applied Applied data analysis. Um, an organization met me and said, "The this is the data they want to they want to move their market to some countries, and they really want to know what country to go to, what product should they go for, should they go and market there, so that they can spend, they can ap appropriate their resources." So those are applied questions. This is the same thing here. If, for instance, in business, we say, okay, we want to uh, do reinvestment, and now we our resources are very, very lean. We want to focus on the most um, consumed, the first lines. What are the first lines that you will advise us to go and invest more on? So this is just like one of those questions. So what are the most, the top 10 most utilized products? Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two, what are the top 10 products received in the reporting period? Then, um, 
Number three, can, we can write which identify identify the 10 products that are utilizing much space in the store or warehouse. Okay, so these are some of the questions. Okay, okay, James says he wants to see the formula for excluding and, un and including. Okay, that's fine. Um, so here we have identified the top 10 products that are occupying space. Let me say, not utilizing, let's say occupying space. Occupying much space in the ten in the in the storm. So I don't know. Are these questions practical enough? Are they directing? Identify yes. the top, the top, the top ten, the top ten products that are currently, let me put currently, currently occupying much space in the store. So um, we can look at it. The first question is talking about analysis with respect to utilization as consumption. The second one is talking about products that are received. That's here. Then the other product, maybe I should even, to make it more applied, in which products are, okay, we didn't put money here so that I, I would have asked what product did the company spend much money on? If we had put a cost here, then you will now run, I think I need to do that. Um, maybe you can put that, say cost, okay? Please put cost. I don't know how you can do that. If you can, fine. If you can't, then there's no problem. We can uh, leave it. I didn't think about that applied question, but that's what I'm going to do. And Okay, so what you now do is that you are going to get an a calculated field where you are going to multiply this cost and the quantity received. So for this question number four, in which, what are the, what are the top 10 products that the company spent more in the review period, within the review period. So these are the questions that if we're able to go through this, then we are good to go. So guys, are we good to go now? Will you want me to share this particular one back with you now? Or you can handle this... Uh, extra column addition. Is anybody hearing me at all? Sir, you can share it with us. We heard you. Okay, so I'm going to share that with you all. So I'm going to name it updated data set for visualization. Okay, just a minute. So 
So um, just a minute, I need, I need to close this. Right. So um, can we all check? Okay, at least those people that didn't receive the first time, I'm sure you are going to receive now. Two, three, four, five. No, sir, please just come out with that formula again for some if and exclude and include. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to open the, I'm going to open it and uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I have sent that and oh Kings Kings Kingsley. Okay, let me sorry I didn't get this your email on time. So Kingsley, I'm going to forward to you now, please. Don't be, I didn't see your chat on time. Okay, so you want to see the, the excluding my decision. So this is my decision. So is it, is it, is it, is it clear now, um, Victor and uh, James? Please confirm you can see. Hello, sir. Okay, that's fine. Yes, please. I I, can't, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. No, you say I should. Uh, you said I should uh, show you the formula, right? Hello. Just remind us the formula again. Yes. But uh, the, it's up. Can you see it? Okay. That's yes, I've seen it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So Kingsley, I've sent to you, please confirm. And others, please confirm you have received. All right, so I'm going to pause this and give us a uh, time to... So, 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 um, let's get our feedback. Okay. I'm going to call, well, the first, uh -huh. Victor, you are the first because your mm. mic is on. Mm, so okay. go ahead. How did it go? Any challenge? He, yeah, it's, it's okay. The, among the product, uh, I have a male condom that is uh, 186,000. As the as yeah. the highest consume, on that term consume you have um the product you have a uh, at uh, Zenavil, co Tremaxo tablets, the timing HIV test kick lubricant, Merconda, TFD, 
TFD and uh, Vakotena needles. We are the top 10 consumed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you didn't have any problem setting that up, right? No, no problem at all. But that's where I stopped before the time went off, before you called us in again. Hello, Victor. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear okay, you. I don't okay, have a okay. challenge up to that point. Okay, okay, that's fine. Hello, Richard. What about you? It's okay. It's, it's okay. It went smoothly. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Richard. Hello. Sorry, my network. Yes. Hello, Richard. Just a minute. Yeah. Uh, my network I... threw me out. Yeah, I said I didn't really face challenges. It's, it's okay. You are cool to go. Okay, it's, it's okay. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Uh, who is next on the line? Ah, uh, Bola. I don't know if you joined up from the beginning. Bola Joko. Hello, Bola. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you're good to go, There's right? No That's fine. No issue. Okay, no okay, issue. okay. David Agu. Hello, David. Okay. While well, we we'll wait for response from David, let's go to Habibu. Hello, Habibu. Um, sorry, my apologies. You know, I earlier complained that a network logged me out. You are off and on. I'm trying to see where I can stop so that I can make comments. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's fine. If Nanya. Hello, if Nanya. Hello, sir. Uh, it's fine, yes. sir. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I have James Ball. Yes, Chief. Uh, I tried. Because that is also the first time. Hello, James. Um, yes, um, are you hearing me? I tried. But I have not completed the the graph, the the, the dashboard. But I I start with the with the same data, starting with the with the information from the okay yeah information from the the raw the raw data, and then I, I move and and create okay. another okay. Uh, sheet which is called practice, and then I uh, then from there also I follow all the the the, the steps. But I did not create the the, the dashboard. Then I end up there. But also follow up all all the okay the okay. step I can yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, of course. Uh, being your first time, I'm sure you will be able to uh, meet up when you look through the the video. Okay. So I'm I'm going to share before I continue calling on the others for their perspectives or for their views. I'm going to share uh, questions. Those ones that we just developed now, you can copy them and paste uh, into somewhere so that it will guide you what we'll be working through um, for the rest, maybe for tomorrow before we meet tomorrow's uh, session. Okay, what about Kingsley? Kingsley, you joined us late. I don't know if you were able to catch up with um, what we did. Um, good evening, brother Sam. Um, 
Unfortunately, I was not able to. <laughs> you don't know the Kingsley that is talking, I guess. I know now. That's Kingsley James now, right? <laughs> I know now. <laughs> well done, bro. So, yeah, How thanks far? so much again for, for putting up this training. Very, very insightful. Uh, so, unfortunately, I didn't join on time. So, I've not been able to. I've actually tried to attempt um, to um, to deal with the pivot table, but um, I've not concluded it. So, I'm um, expecting that maybe at the conclusion, by the time the recording is shared, I'll be able to use it to actually deal with the practical aspect. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. okay. Thank you yes. so much. I appreciate it. Um, next is, uh, if Naya didn't respond, I don't know, maybe she's uh, busy with the work. So, Onyeka, would you want to share your experience with us? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Onyeka. Yeah, I, I must say I couldn't, um, because I was having zero net network break and off and on. So I was hoping okay. that probably when you share the recording, I'll use it to to follow and then do a little practice. Okay, okay. You know, this network, like I say, that it has no respect. Just throw someone off and okay, that's fine. Thank you for your for your own comment. Uh, we have Omogo. Omogo, see, you also join late. I know your work has been so so demanding. Did you make any attempt? Hello, Mogo. Okay. Saidu, we on to you. Somebody's hand is up. Okay, Victor. Victor, wait. After I will call you, please. Okay. Um, Say Saidu. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have attempted, but I had I had one little issue that stopped me off. Okay. Uh, at the time where I tried to put the quantity received in the Balu place, yes. so yes. instead of it to show me the sum, it showed me the number, the count. I mean, show you the, so the count. Uh -huh. the count. And I went to that place where you change the count to sum. Yes. Because I have seen what you have done, I went, I changed the count to sum, and then some people are showing me now zero 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 zero. So I don't know what's happened. That's where I stopped. Okay. If it is a count, maybe, I don't know. It should be a sum. It should give you the number. But did you do filter? Yes, I do filter. Okay. And you did this exclusion and inclusion criteria? I do filter to remove the, all those excluded. Okay, yes, okay, I even okay, do the exclusion okay. and inclusion criteria by myself. I use the formula okay. and I did it and it excludes and include. Okay, okay. Maybe let me let me uh, let's hear from uh, who is the last person? Ubale. Then after Ubale, um Victor will ask a question. Then I uh, will ask you, can you share your screen? Will you be able to share your screen? Um so if I'm saying, will you be able to share your screen? Yes, if I, yes, if I'm permitted, I will do that. Okay, okay, fine. We'll come to that. Ubale, please, let's hear from you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, actually, I joined late. I joined when you were about to set we have 15 minutes to start the practice. So maybe when you share the video on the WhatsApp, I will be able to okay. cut off. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay, so Victor, your hand was up. Can we hear from you or it has been clarified? No, it's just um, it's a little observation that I'm just trying to look at the data to be able to explain it. In that uh, first and second okay. question, yeah, the, yes. you can hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you very well. Yes, the song received for the mayor condom is uh, mm. zero. Meanwhile, the sum consumed is uh, 186,000. So I was trying to see how what the explanation you can give on that with data like this. How can you receive okay. zero and you are consuming uh, such amount? Mm -hmm. 
So uh, it's possible. Uh, what was the opening opening balance? The opening balance. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, hold on, sir. The opening balance is uh, okay. Okay, yes. The opening balance is um, uh, five hundred and six thousand. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, and if the and the consume, so I think it's another. Yeah. Okay. It's another. It's another. Okay. 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 All right. So, um, from Belu, from I think. Okay, let's use your this thing to round up to this uh, session. You can go ahead and share your screen so that uh, we can see um, what happened. So you can go ahead and share your screen. So uh, uh, this is my screen. So you can see this place. I yes. put the product here. The product is here. Then yes. look at the beginning balance. Yes. So when I put the beginning balance here, I saw this thing. So I click on it. I come to this side. I saw this. So it was on counting like this. I saw this number. Which shows that it is counting. Yes. Then I went. I uh, this is what I have done. Summarize by. And then I went to sum. So I don't yes. know. Maybe then it gives me this zero zero zero. You know, um, it's possible that um, there are some of these items. Yes. Yeah? Some okay. of these items that you are seeing here, uh, maybe uh, I'm thinking that uh, go to the That's, data uh, source again. Maybe okay. they don't have any beginning balance for this particular one. Because if anything is wrong with it, it will also affect the other ones. So it's possible that those ones don't have anything as a beginning balance. And and, and look at it because you see that I have a no, no, no. The... See, see what we are going to do, right? Scroll up, scroll up. Go to the uh, go to the beginning. The beginning. No, yeah, good, good. Now, uh, apply filter. Go to data. Apply filter. Let's do something ahead. Open it. Open that ahead. Filter out zero. Uncheck the other ones and then check uh, Okay, it. So you see. There yes. are actually some drugs that are zero in beginning balance. So it's it's correct. Yes. Okay. So that, okay. there's nothing wrong with it. So I can see. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, so maybe I go back understand. to the pivot Good. table. Let's so see. I... Uh, scroll down. Your... No, 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 no. Hold on first. Okay, change what you want to change. So scroll, scroll down. I want to see where they. Okay, okay, okay. You haven't done any. You have not applied anything. So it's good to go. You don't have any problem with this, right? Okay. Yes. I I, I yeah. think I can do all the rest. It's just that when I saw this zero, so I started feeling. You, you, uh, you became. I'm not. <laughs> I getting it right. Okay, because okay. my expectation that I shouldn't supposed to see any zero. Okay, okay, no, that's that's fine. So I can stop sharing. Yes. That's fine. So I should stop sharing, ba. No. Right. So, yes, yes. Thank you. thank you for your time for tonight. Um, tomorrow. We want to see how many of us that will be able to um, do more than one 
you know, those questions, for each of those questions, each question is a, you need to put a chart. So we're going to create all the four, the questions that I have, I mean, those questions there, the four of them, we are going to put all the charts on one particular, uh, particular uh, dashboard, and then we connect them. So it's the connection that we are going to do tomorrow. And then we are going to bring in objects and see how we can put the object and link that to the data analysis that we are running. So with that, I want to thank everyone for coming. There's a question here from James. Say, you need to apply, exclude, and include formula to remove the zero. OK. OK, I think maybe he's talking uh, to Bala. All right, so guys. Um, with that, if there is no more questions to ask, no more comments, I want to appreciate everyone for tonight's session. We are hoping that tomorrow will be a very wonderful one as we round up tomorrow. And uh, remember that uh, from after tomorrow, you are revising because on Saturday, we are coming back for, we are coming back for the assessment. Remember we have a little assessment to run which may not necessarily be what we had done before, but it's going to be like a kind of a applied questions that we are going to give to participants to solve. All right, so thank you everyone. Do have a wonderful um, evening rest and sleep well. <laughs>